Hey guys, it's Fury 91. And I'm talking about Xbox All Access. Now, what is that? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I'll try to explain based on my understanding of what it says. It seems like it may be a rent to own thing, you know, like where you get something, you pay a certain amount down, and then you pay a certain amount a month until you actually own it. But I'm not even sure because they haven't said at the end of the 24 month period that you actually own the console. So what do you get? Well, if you get the Xbox One X, you have to pay 30 bucks a month. If you get the Xbox One S, you have to pay $22.99 a month. And if you get the Xbox One S all digital, you pay $19.99 a month. So you get the console, you have to keep making payments for 24 months. And apparently you also get everything. You get the gold, you get the game pass, but you have to pay for this console monthly. You can't just pay for this upfront. Apparently you have to pay for this monthly for at least a 24 month period. Now you do save some money because apparently they say if you do this with the Xbox one S all digital, you end up just paying 120 for the console. If you do this with the Xbox one X, you end up paying about 384 for the console, which is still a savings technically, but this is just so weird. You have to do this with a line of credit extended by Citizens Bank. So I don't think this is gonna make much sense. To me, they should have just stuck with Ultimate. Ultimate is cool. Ultimate makes sense. This doesn't. To me, just buy your console, look for even a deal somewhere so you don't pay as much as the standard price for the console, and then just get Ultimate if you want all the Game Pass and the gold and everything. To have to get a line of credit extended by Citizens Bank and have to pay on increments for 24 months before you actually possibly own the console because they haven't been clear on whether after the 24 months is over whether you just own the console or not it's just all too much in my opinion hey if this is for you guys whatever if you guys would rather pay 30 bucks a month than pay whatever for the xbox one x and then pay for ultimate whatever but to me this is all just too weird for just getting a console like they want you to have a line of credit extended by citizens bank they want you to pay 30 bucks a month if you get the xbox one x and they want you to do this for 24 months, but and they're not clear whether or not at the end of the 24 months, whether you actually will own the console. Nah. I, I understand people lease cars, but I ain't into leasing consoles. And that's what it seems like this almost is, like a lease. But anyway, what do you guys think about Xbox All Access? And what do you guys think it actually fully is? Because they're not exactly clear. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe. May God bless you all.